Um, okay, hello, I'm Diana Zagorewski, and today I'm going to be talking about something y'all probably hate and y'all hear every day, and that is Ebola. What got me interested in doing this speech was people always ask me questions like, what are the hosts? How does this spread? <coughs> Um, the first outbreak, the history, it was um, on August 26, 1976. And it was in a small village um, called Kishna. And like within that village, it had a river, which was the Ebola River. And then it had a stream, and then the Congo River. Within like this region, like Ebola River and Congo River, they're like far away. But within this region, um, fruit bats came along, and that's how they spread the disease. Um, the maiden name of Ebola was Yambuk, um, but a scientist named Peter Pina actually named it Ebola after the river. Um, how it spreads? Um, it spreads to through dead people, like in Africa. People wash dead bodies after their relatives. And like most of us, when we attend a funeral, we either just kiss them and it could also spread. Like that. I mean, if you have a relative, like a close relative, you would probably kiss them. Um, it, also, it also comes from affected person's vomit, blood, or any contact fluid from another person's mouth, eyes, or openings. It also comes from infect infected tissues. Um, it comes from rats and fruit bats, of course. The symptoms are, within the first day, you, you just have little experience. Like, it's not that bad. Like, you have just fantage, you have headaches, sore throat, and just muscle soreness. But within a week, it starts getting worse. So you start having vomiting, diarrhea, um, liver functions. What it does is it keeps body pure of toxins. But if you get Ebola, it, it doesn't keep it pure. It gets worse. And then in pear kidney, that is when it cannot filter waste products from the blood. You also get um, low blood cells, spinal infections, you get oozing from gums, blood, stools, internal and external. Thank you for your time and I hope y'all learned something. Um,